what's going on guys welcome back to this video again today will be a hack the box video and i'm covering a new category in this challenge cyber apocalypse 2023 so uh, these are two very easy challenges i said let me cover them in one video actually the category is forensic and um as you can see here we're not required to connect to any machine we're just required to download a couple files um, so if you read the description of the first challenge in an attempt to for the, for the aliens to find more information about the relic They launched an attack targeting Pandora's close friends and partners That may know any secret information about it during a recent incident believed to be operated by them Pandora located a weird PowerShell script from the event logs otherwise called PowerShell Cradle these scripts are usually used to download and execute the next stage of the attack. However, it seems obfuscated and Pandora cannot understand it. Can you help her de it? So if we download the files, go to downloads. Okay, so let me open it in my virtual machine. I don't want Windows Defender uh, bothering me with the warnings. So this is the partial script. And if we take a look again at the partial script, as you can see, it's kind of trying to download something, right? From HTTP li Windows Live Updater .com. Okay, trying to download some zip files, uh, zip files, and these files are page 64 encoded. So that's the first thing to note from this uh, script. Other thing, as you can see, guys, it is the actual flag that we're looking for. But as you can see, the strings or the characters are separated by a plus sign. So it's very obvious, guys, that you can assemble the flag like that, okay, and remove the plus signs, and you will get the flag. So you see, it's easy challenge. It's not that hard. Uh, you can accomplish that as well with Python if you deconcatenate and remove the plus sign within Python Python prompts as well. But you don't need to do that. You can just take this and separate the plus signs and remove them. Now the other challenge is here. So there is a rumor that aliens have developed a persistence mechanism that is impossible to detect after investigating her recently compromised linux server pandora found a possible sample of this mechanism the persistence mechanism can you analyze it and find out how they install their persistence so we're going to go ahead and download the files again so i'm going to copy the file over to the virtual machine Gonna extract here. And it is a bash script. So if you open it with the mouse pad and take a look here. So first the host name, we define the host name, define the uh, using home I and hostname commands, and then they set the path to the service and then as you can see here we have an if statement if the if n if the output of who am i command is equal to pandora or no if the output of if the uh, output of the home icon as you can see here is not it doesn't equal to pandora and the host name doesn't equal to linux hq then we exit so it's it probes actually for the uh, currently uninstalled system on the target and then it installs this from this URL and then we have as you can see it gives the permissions for the service executable to run and then we have this base64 encoded string uh, this base64 encoded string is to be decoded okay and placed here and then they enable the service probably this is the persistent service but the objective here is to find what's behind this base64 encoded string. So we're going to take this and we're going to say echo uh, 
PS64-T. Okay, units. So this is the description of the service, right? That is to be run on the target here. And as you can see in the description, we have the flag, and we have the instructions on running the service from the from the path, how to start the service and how to stop the service. Um, so basically, this is this file actually installs a persistence service on the target uh, machine, but most probably or most uh, importantly, this is the flag that you need to complete the challenge. So these guys, these two challenges are easy challenges, but they kind of um, teach you how to investigate or how to go through partial scripts or different kind of scripts that are used to perform uh, persistence, instant response and so on and so forth. Uh, okay, so in the next upcoming videos, we're going to solve the other challenges. If you are enjoying these challenges, kindly give me uh, positive feedback on the description or on the comments. If you think I should be doing um, machines instead of these challenges, also kindly let me know. So that was for today, guys. I'm going to see you in the next video.